interesting curves and these spaces. Okay. So Welcome to my Peace Moon series. I don't even remember what episode this is, but we're just going to go ahead and get started. Anyway, the reason why I'm at this Minecraft screen right now is I have put in some extra mods to improve our inventory. So it'll be more fun. So, right now, here's what the mods I added are. The star mod in our mod, which is anti-gravity. We added the chisel mod, the advanced portals mod, food plus, iron chest, energy core, energy four, ways mini map, and t Rock special armor mod. And we are now on Pixamon 3.3.9. This won't take very long to load, okay? Okay guys, we will be back when it's done loading. So anyway, we were in this cave. In this show, we're separating facts. Let's get this iron ore. With clicks that push and sometimes break the boundaries of science. Mm, do I have a stone pickaxe? I don't I don't think I don't. Um, I don't think I do. Um okay, let's go ahead and make one. Well, I'm going to an inventory space, so how do we have to make a home sim? Right here. See if I can experiment with that. Mod options. Uh, let's see. Options. Controls. Um, hmm. Not sure. Well, I believe that in tech it you would push M. Yeah, that's it. That point enabled. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's see, mini map options. Okay. Three points on. So Options. So, 
on, on. Oh, waypoints. Okay. Okay. Now I figured it out. Yeah, with Waves Minimap, we want to like, add waypoints, which can be pretty helpful if you get lost. Wow, that hurt. Hmm. How? Oh, great. Ah, lava. Hmm. Okay, uh, for now, let's go up. Now, how am I going to get back up there? Yes, it's a confirmed fake. Yes, it's a problem. Hmm. The hole in the wall looks more like the result of clever editing and a sledgehammer. Is I think this should work. We're in South Africa to look into a video for a clothing company. Two and a half million people have seen one of the world's greatest predators play with a man named Kevin Richardson. When I first watched this, it looked real, but I just couldn't imagine it. It seemed so bizarre and crazy that he would just be playing with the lions like they're little kittens. Well, we've heard of dances with wolves, but never soccer with lions. Chris, you're not quite sure if this is a fake, but apparently it's not, so he's really playing and interacting with lions. Lions are dangerous. They have been used cages for their safety. So how is Kev able to avoid being mauled? These lions are actually living in a wildlife sanctuary in South Africa, and they have known Kevin since I'll go back to this lava. I want to know its weight. Let me go ahead and make a waypoint so I know where this lava is. M. Waypoints. Add. Waypoint name. Okay, uh, this one won't have a name until I figure out how you name them. So, is this a credible find or an incredible fraud? The amazing thing is that this clip. I just need to remember that one's lava pit. These cubes have just been formed naturally on this beach. Amazing! How are these salt cubes formed? As the sea water washes up onto the beach, the water portion evaporates away, leaving the island the same to the pool. Hmm, this cake goes on forever. Seems like. Wow. Hmm. This is going to be interesting to get down. No, we really don't. Uh, that's not all. Why is it keep doing that? Mm, okay, let's get this coal. This is a slow process, but we need this coal. If we 
had four turns, we would have loads of coal by now. What? I just heard a zombie. <gasps> that must be there's a spawner. Oh, that I wasn't expecting. There's a spawner somewhere. I need to find it. Yeah, I definitely hear a spawn. It's a spawner. Since they don't spawn while you have to pick someone, I believe. There, it has to be a spawner. That's the only way, I believe. What's the thing? So, I might run into some zombies, which won't be good. I better give Letty. All I need to do is like make an iron sword and a chest plate and I should be good to go. I would be it'd be good to make some leggings, but I don't have enough iron for that, unfortunately. No. Oh, I better make some torches. So, Let's think about like at least three more. Yeah. The amazing thing is that this cliff is real. These cubes have just been formed naturally on this beach. Amazing. How are these salt cubes formed? As the seawater washes up onto the beach, the water portion evaporates away, leaving behind the sodium. The salt that's left behind is made of positively charged sodium yeah. and negatively charged naturally. And these plates get a very specific arrangement of a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube. As more and more salt is deposited, the structure starts to grow, and it does so by building more and more of these repeat units. And this keeps going and going and going until we see these actual crystal cubes hmm, okay. that we pick up. Hmm, this is, I know this might, I know this is going to take all what we need to be prepared. If you have any impurities in there, then this is going to cause your crystal to grow in different shapes, and that's going to cause you to have an odd, lumpy-shaped crystal, which we can see in the video. Wait, why do I still have wooden tools? I don't understand this. Stop. Okay. I only need three more iron ingots. So let's just leave like at least one, two, three left. Oh yeah. And of course there's an equal opposite force back on the hammer. 
when the hammer hits that nail, not only should it change its linear momentum going up, it should be forced back down again, but also it should change its angular momentum. Because as they hit the nail into the wood, they would experience a jump backwards, so they would not be able to continue on their circular path as if nothing had happened. Okay, perfect. Yes, Next. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you just forgot about something. I forgot about this. Okay. Oh, yeah. I guess I forgot to explain. I, I have changed my Minecraft friend to Gengar. Well, I need to name Gengar right now, too. It makes sense. Like, <laughs> Okay, now. Okay, <clears throat> now let's explore. Did something just shine? Esther, you hear me? Huh? Come here a second. <coughs> you ever watch this? Cat car. What the heck is this? Hmm. What? Outrageous acts of science. No. I never even heard of it. Do you believe that there's such a thing as perfectly square salt cubes? I guess. <gasps> what? There's a creeper! I mean, I guess it's possible. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Mmm. This I was not I'm expecting. Sure From what? From a, a creeper. Okay, that I wasn't expecting. Hmm. Yes, this is clever CGI. What is it? Wait, what just happened? Well, oh, hey, buddy. As much as I want this clip to be true, you can see it's fake for one very simple reason. Hmm. Something's going on. Mobs are spawning for some reason. Why are mobs spawning? That's not supposed to be happening. Hmm. Figure out why this is happening. They would experience a jolt backwards, so they would not be able to continue on their circular path as if nothing had happened. Yes, this is clever CGI. But as always, we thank our experts for getting the nail on the head. So far, our scientists have used a very subtle cues. Physics to judge hammers, biology to explain lion bugs. Okay, your skeleton. Nothing's not making sense. Okay, guys, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, apparently. 
the ones are just spawning. So now the pixel one line doesn't override it. So that's why there's one flying apparently. So what can we expect from this brainwave technology in the future? But come on, this is pixel mine. There is supposed to be no mob spawning. So for now, we're going to be keeping it on peaceful. We're going to keep on peaceful because in pixel mine, we don't have mob spawning. Okay. Okay. After all, who wants to see Mon spawning when you can on Pixelmon catch Pokemon and do all kinds of exciting things? Oh, I guess I should fix the sidebar. Give me a moment to do that. So yeah, anyway. Remember, playing with fire is dangerous, which is why we have our experts on hand for a test. It's not magic, it's science. Time for some light entertainment. This is Jose from Spain, who claims to have created a light bulb that still works after the power is removed. All this time we've been digging coal out of the ground, we've been trying to harness the wind. It turns out you can get energy from nothing. So should Jose receive the Nobel Prize or a medal in boxing? This guy wants us to believe he has created a self-regenerating circuit. Wait, I just noticed. This hmm. I just noticed that my Pokemon's not here. Where's my Pokemon icon? Hmm. This is weird. Because electricity creates magnetic fields and those magnetic fields hmm. can Well, I guess I'll have to figure this problem so out on the next episode. Remains, the idea is that these electromagnets will induce electrical currents in each other and that will keep going until it creates an infinite circuit. Amazing. But this whole thing is impossible. Oh, why is that? On paper, this almost looks so far so good, but we know that we cannot ever make or destroy energy, we can only transfer it from one form to another. So, if the energy is being lost in light and heat, there is no way a regenerative... Okay, let's just line up. ...to provide enough power for the light bulb to run forever. The way Jose pulls off this trick is that he takes two very thin copper wires and uses those to power the light bulb. So, unfortunately, this clip is fake. Or, to put it another way, no way, Jose. We take care of our houses, and our cars, our friends, even strangers. But what's the last thing you did to challenge your own mind? Join 60 million people in 182 countries and try to cause these brain games. Team of neuroscientists, and they've been playing two billion times. So come on, get a fun mental workout today. Your empire is how the world will remember you. It's the way your dreams come to life. But you must not forget. Live with me, build with me, or be destroyed.
Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna try to figure out this Pixelmon problem on the next episode. <laughs> I need a bite to see. while so I'll be back when I'm back at the surface. So yeah I have made it out of the cave now. Yeah, I will really need to figure out this Pikmin Pollen in the next episode. That was before it. Anyway. No. Oh, I must have picked up an egg. Did I pick up an egg? Oh, there's two eggs. Come here, you, you sheep. Sheep, come here. Come here, you sheep. Wait, while well, mine's in well, Minecraft 1.8, I'm on Forge 1.7.10. So what's going on here? Hmm. This is weird. Hmm. Oh, 
I think we should go ahead and throw the race. Cobblestone for the moment. Take my security or PC maintenance product ever. PC Matic is made and supported right here in the USA. Take it from me, Randy White, a PC user. PC Matic is all you'll ever need. word I couldn't quite make out. This is something maybe it's just a fresh This is some cool engineering. Fresh out. Congratulations, you survived another week. 
Why would them stop? Dang it, why do they keep doing this? Okay guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video, and please leave a like down below, and I will see ya next time.